Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will continue our discussion on cotton, a crop that has shaped civilizations and industries for centuries. If you haven't watched the previous video, make sure to check it out for a comprehensive introduction to cotton. Without further ado, let's get started the today's class. Classification of cotton. Out of 20 species of cotton, only 4 species of cotton are cultivated worldwide such as Desi cotton or also known as Old World cotton or Asiatic cotton. In Desi cotton, there are uh, 2 species such as Gossypium arboreum and Gossypium herbaceum. So Gossypium arboreum is also known as Asiatic cotton and Gossypium herbaceum is African cotton. Both the Deshi cotton species are deployed in nature and the chromosome number 2N is 26. And the next group is American cotton. Again in American cotton there are two subspecies. One is a Gossypium hirsutum also known as American cotton and the Gossypium barbadans which is also known as Egyptian cotton or Sea Iceland cotton. So both these are tetraploid in nature and chromosome number 2N is 52. India is the only country in the world where all the four species of cotton are grown on the commercial scale beside the hybrid. You can see in this slide hybrid which is a 40% area is covered and gossypium hirsutum 36% and so on. Seed rate of cotton. For desi cotton it requires 10 to 18 kg per hectare whereas for American cotton it is 15 to 25 kg per hectare and for hybrid it is 2 to 3 kg per hectare with the spacing 100 into 60 cm. Then the optimum plant population which is required in cotton cultivation is 50 to 80,000 plants per hectare. So for normal cultivated cotton varieties. Whereas for BT cotton the plant population is 10,000 plants per hectare with the seed rate 1 to 1.5 kg per hectare. Sowing time of cotton. So that depends based on the uh, location in India. Then there are two types of branches that we can see in cotton plant. The first branch is monopodial branches and the second one sympodial branch. Monopodial branch is nothing but vegetative branches whereas sympodial branch is reproductive branches. H4 So in the previous video uh, you understood what is this H4. So it is the first commercial hybrid variety of a cotton which is developed in the world by crossing between G67 and American Nectarless which is developed by Dr. C.T. Patel at Gujarat Agricultural University in the year 1970. H4 is the first intraspecific hybrid of cotton which is developed by Dr. C.T. Patel. Then Varalakshmi. It is the first interspecific hybrid of cotton which is developed by crossing between two different species of cotton such as Gossypium hirsutum and Gossypium barbadans which is developed by scientist Katarki in the year 1972 from University of Agricultural Sciences, Darwad. Delinting or defuzzing. So delinting is nothing but the removal of the remaining fuzz after extraction of fiber from the seed coat. It is mainly done with the concentrated sulfuric acid with acid to cotton seed ratio 1 is to 10. That means 1% of acid to the 10% of 
cotton seed. This helps in grading of seeds and also in killing the hibernating insect stages and it destroys the diseased pathogens in cotton seed and it makes a seed too easy for sowing and germinates rapidly. Cropping Cropping is the removal of terminal growing point once from each plant at the height of 1 to 1.2 meter mainly to protect the further terminal growth and to encourage sympodial branching and thereby good pole development by diverting the energy flow. Then ginning percentage. Ginning is nothing but the separation of fiber from the seed cotton. It is in general the ginning percentage is 30 to 35 percent in cotton. And remember cotton seed is different from seed cotton. Cotton seed is nothing but this is the seed which is left after removing the fiber or lint whereas seed cotton it is which includes seed along with the lint or fiber. Then physiological disorders in cotton. The first one thirak or bad ball opening also called premature defective opening of the balls. This is the disorder which is mainly occurs due to the early sowing or water stress on light sandy or in alkaline soils. And the second disorder red leaf. So this is a disorder where the leaves turns to red and roll downwards mainly due to the nitrogen deficiency. And American cotton they are more susceptible to this red leaf disorder. So this is all about today's class. Do let me know in the comment section what is the difference between cotton seed and seed cotton. So thank you for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe this channel.